So we're typical of that generation. He had come back from the service, gone to college, and then we were married in 52. And by 1955, we had we were outgrowing our two-bedroom house because we were expecting our third child. And then in 1957, just as we were expecting our fourth child, Marty, in October, we were told we were going to be in this brand new parish called Infinite Prague in Flossmoor. And that's how we happened to come to be here in this parish. We stayed in because we were with these new boundaries for this new parish. And our Marty and another baby were the first babies that Father Hills baptized as pastor of this church. When they set the boundaries and we were put in the parish, uh, of course we were like many young families, we were vitally interested in the school. So then we started the, the, the second campaign for the school. I was co-chairman with Bill Snyder and of course George Fanning, who was at the original uh, church. And George did all the promotion and did a tremendous job. That, uh, that I joined the choir right away. It was all men's choir at that point. And Austin Garrels was the director. And it was a beautiful young lady by the name of Iris Sahara, who was the organist. And as you know, uh, Iris became the director of music and has done all this work over the years. And I, to my, in my mind, Iris is probably the most valuable parishioner that this, 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 this parish has had. She was yes. wonderful. In those first years, the school only was on the top floor of a two-story building, the first four grades. And then they were going to add one grade a year. Well, of course, with the population and everyone pouring into this area, they had to jump from four grades to all eight grades immediately, so they filled up the two stories. But in that period of time when the first floor of the school was empty, he would join the choir right away. And the first concert they ever had, I remember Father Hills playing the piano, and you stood on Little Risers, the choir, and they, we had our first choir concert in the first floor of the school. So. And our first parent, uh, organization for the school was called the Homeschool Council. And then eventually we became a little more <clears throat> sophisticated and we have our present day school board. And I was privileged to serve on that for a couple of terms. But we all were working for the school. And of course we had the Adrian Dominicans who staffed the school. We had just several lay teachers. All over the years we've had a, a, any number of assistants. Wonderful and there was some, there was some real characters, I must say, but uh, uh, but there were a lot of wonderful men, and most of them went on to be pastors and other. But our very first assistant was Bill O'Mara, Father Bill O'Mara, who was into sports. He was a fresh out of out of, out of out of the seminary, and of course he was into sports. And one time when Father Hills took a winter vacation, uh, Bill O'Mara got some men, and they built a complete full blown hockey rink in what is now the parking lot next to the, uh, next, to the uh, uh, next to the convent. And of course, Hills came home and about had a stroke because he felt that the last thing we needed in the Paris.